Friends, hello again. Today I'm going to explain very quickly in non in a non technical way, or perhaps something, you know, method that's minimally technical, the absurdity of the following statement. You get a genetics report from 23andMe or some other uh, firm, and you get the nonsensical, you're 30% Greek, 15% Sicilian. Well, Sicilians can't be 50% Greek. It makes no sense because they're not independent categories. You have overlap, and, and, and also there may be no such thing as a Sicilian. Uh, let's look at a uh, something called the principal component map, where you position uh, populations, and, and these are samples, not average population. You position them with respect to uh, what we call independent vectors to construct what we call an orthogonal basis. So in other words, there's no correlation between uh, the X and the Y axis, call them orthogonal. So, and we look here, you have Greek samples. You even have Greeks here and Greek here. Okay. Uh, you have uh, Sicilians. Look how they overlap. And if the, the population was large enough, you'd have people smack in the middle. Uh, in between them, I mean, you'd have a lot of overlap. And here we have Spaniards. Here we have people from Moldova. Uh, you have Iranian up here. So you position your sample uh, with respect to other samples and have an idea of relatedness. So as you can say, there's no such thing as 30% Greek. And there's no such thing as um, a Greek, actually, because you have, again, they're not the same person. So uh, let me uh, explain how the PCA uh, map is done. But before, this is a, a PCA of the world, principal component uh, representation of the world. You have Here you have Han Chinese. And then here you have so-called Mediterraneans and Europeans. And here you have uh, Africans, the Mbuti, Yoruba, people from Gambia. And, and you have population in between, you see. These are samples, again, not um, uh, groups, uh, average groups. Now, how is the PCA uh, done? I'm going to generate the Monte Carlo to make things easy for me. I build a covariance matrix. It has to be positive definite. It's tricky, so I've got to play around with it. There's a trick in another video. Uh, I generate the Monte Carlo from that covariance matrix. Uh, we look at the uh, the, the, the have the eigen uh, values. With, uh, uh, they're, they're very uh, you, you get the declining eigen values. In other words, the first principal component will represent about more than half the total variation. The second one, 20%. The third one, 17%. It's usually rare. Typically, you have the third one, a big drop of the second one. Uh, and, and then the, the fourth and fifth uh, are insignificant. So what you have here, you rebuilt. You have five time series, or five series, sorry. You can do it with finance, with time series, and I think five. Uh, you rebuild five new ones that are completely orthogonal, that are independent from one another. And you can see here the, the covariance matrix is pretty much zero except for the diagonal. Uh, you look at the eigen system, right? And then build from there, you build a um, position of each one, x1, with respect to the principal component that we just invented and 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 locate them on a map. This is the the PC2, PC1. You see X2 is closer to X5 than it is to X4. And they're all far away from X1. That's the representation PC1, PC2. About 70% of total variation is there. This is PC1 and PC3. The vertical here is uh, PC3, uh, similar, 
so we're not gaining too much. We're getting some uh, x3 is below the line here is above the line, x1 is below the overall the genetic distance, pretty much represented by the first two uh, principal components. Now, some of my work, my work on um, on uh, rescaling, uh, I've done some work uh, changing the method from covariance and correlation based to uh, 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 to uh, mutual information based, in other words, to entropy based techniques. It doesn't change the story at the extremes. Uh, uh, the it does change the middle. In other words, if relation if people are close, it makes them closer. If they're remote, it makes them further away. Uh, th that technique is. Uh, to be discussed at some other time. So let me summarize. If you hear someone saying 30% Greek, 15% Sicilian, ignore the person. They don't know what they're talking about. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day. And uh, uh, soon, talk to you. See you soon.